One of a new breed of elite sports people mixing greyhound racing and rugby league is West Tigers Premiership winner Liam Fulton. One of a number of Tigers players with a close connection to the sport, the talented back rower is the latest to go in the spotlight. My old uh, rugby league coach, Jack Taddean, he's a greyhound trainer and one day rang me up and asked me if I wanted to um, go buy a dog with him. So, you know, as I did, got, went over, saw the little puppies and fell in love with them and then it pretty much just started from there and then just went from dog to dog and just trying to get that elusive win. <laughs> I got it, I got it, um, I got it actually pretty early, I got it uh, after about three races I think. And, uh, it was the sound, just trying to get more. <laughs> Um, had around about, I think I've only around about, had around about five maybe, five or six. Um, I've only had around, I think, four winners, so nothing, nothing too special. But um, yeah, I, mean, I just love going to the, I love going to the track and just, just watching it. I get pretty nervous, what, just as it's going to start. Um, but apart from that, you know, just, I just love the, love the sport. Um, I know for, for a fact that Gibbsy's starting to get a bit interested in it. Um, he's uh, got, a, got a friend down the coast that's good mates with Tony Lockett, so. Gibbsy starting to get in the shares now with um, get started getting getting in there now. So we're going to um, breed my, one of my other greyhounds and um, with Where's Pedro and so we're just waiting for that to come on season. And Gibbsy's got a share in there in, in there with me, so he's pretty excited and keeps asking me if she's come on season, but not yet. So no, nah, just with with the other footballers, I'm not too sure. I know um, Piggy Riddell, he he and Lee Bennett have, have a greyhound which is pretty successful, 40-20. Uh, you know, I'm not lucky enough to have one that good, but uh, I just keep trying, plugging away. He's, that dog's that dog's good, and um, you know, I've, I've never had a dog anywhere, <laughs> anywhere near that. I actually watched it the other day, um, come from around oh, mid pack, just ra ran around them all. So, uh, geez, I'll be lucky if I can get some my, my hands on something like that. If anyone's out there, you know, wants you know, wants to be in there with a good dog, let me know. The retired ones I have, I just give to my dad because he just loves them, and he, uh, they're so easy to walk for him because they're, you know, he's, he's got a, he's got two greyhounds and a, and a Labrador now, and he just can't wait to get rid of that Labrador because it's it just holding him back when he takes him for a walk. But you know, they're that, they're that, like placid, and you know, all they do is sleep, and then every now and again they'll just get up and just go for a little sprint around and then sleep again. So they're the perfect dog. Yeah, well I. Um, Probably about two weeks ago, I had uh, something in my head that I wanted to move to London area, and I was looking at houses out there. I wanted to get property. My missus kicking me in the ass, saying, "Why not go home there?" You know, there was a there was a nice um, five acre out there with greyhounds, and I was thinking, "Oh, that's me." But you know, I might have to I might have to leave it because it's a bit too far from training at the moment. But something I might be interested in, you know, down the track. You know, it's pretty tough. It's a it's a hard it's a competitive sport because there's a lot of uh, good trainers out there. So I don't know how I'd go at it though. Just... Yeah, I think. Try not to spend too much, and you know, um, don't go in, you know, thinking that you're going to make a lot of money. Because realistically, you're probably not. And uh, you know, it's just more about having a good, uh, good fun with the, with the dog, and you know, making new friends out there, I suppose.